Emmanuel, God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. We're gonna pet our, plant our peppers. I'm planting Jimmy Nardello's, it's my sweet pepper. And I'm planting fish peppers as my seasoning for my food. I haven't gotten any of these eggplant up, but I'm going to plant them with my peppers and put them in a warm place to germinate. That's the plan. Um, I got a subscriber that asked what I plant in. It's all-purpose potty mix, indoor, outdoor containers and pots. So that's what I use nothing special it's cheap <laughs> and one bag lasts my whole um year of planting so that's what, that's what i like <laughs> one bag a year for seed starving and I've become so fancy since I've been doing these videos. I'm tamping my soil in so it's relatively firm. Hello. Hello, you soil. Peppers like to germinate when it's about 75 degrees. It's rarely 75 degrees in Southern California. So I have a hard time germinating pepper seeds. But I just thought of a trick that I'm going to use. I'm going to put these peppers on top of my refrigerator. And it is definitely bound to at least be 75 degrees up there. Usually I don't get my peppers germinated until the end of the year because the end of the growing season because they like it so hot they just wait for that heat but i need peppers earlier than that and they don't sell these peppers at the store so i can't buy it i got my peppers on my tongue because peppers um, germinate better if you give them a little saliva it's like an acid that helps them after i do that plant these fish peppers here There we go. I only need one of these peppers. So why am I planting four, uh, six seeds? Because um, I don't know what the germination is going to be like. And um, I want to have a backup pepper plant in case, in case there's an error. And if I get an extra one, I can give it to somebody. The old seed. I'm doing the same thing. You can hear me putting them in my mouth. But since they're old seed, I only need one eggplant. Eggplant will germinate, I think, when it's about 60 degrees. So I could actually germinate these out here. So next, <clears throat> we're going to plant out our Jimmy Nardellos. And for these, they're sweet peppers. So... I need about six sweet peppers, you know. I love sweet peppers. Um, four peppers in a pot. It's not a big deal. So, and the seeds will go where they want to go. In fact, I'd like seven peppers. Next, we're gonna take our tomatoes, Amish paste. And I'm going to put those on top of the Jimmy Nardello pepper. To complete our summer salad, we're going to put our zucchini and our summer squash and our cucumbers in. These are old seed. These are fresh seed. These are kind of old. So, well, I don't know if these will come up, but I want to plant them all and try before I go on to something new. Okay, so there are my old cucumber seed. And um, cucumbers are one of those plants that even old seeds sometimes 
they'll come up. Now I'm planting my Cocazelle zucchini. This grows great in a five gallon bucket if you don't have ground space to plant it in. Okay, so I'm in the laundry room. I'm planting out this melon. It's called American Ananas Melon. Don't have a clue. These are from uh, Seed Saved. When people give me seed, even if they get old, I will try my tricks to get them to plant. And that's three melons. You want three melons, but since these are old seed, I think I better just go for it and plant out five, you know. Again, melon seeds hold their fertility kind of long. And um, I'm going to take them and just pop them in here. This is the side where I planted all my old seed. So I'm just shoving a whole lot of old seed in here with the hopes that something will come up. Tamping down the soil. Okay, it's getting more compact there. There are Armenian melons. They're eaten just like cucumbers. You really only need um, one of these plants. You don't need two. So um, that's way more than I need there. Um, they're old seeds. I'm tempted to plant them all, but I think I'll just plant three. Well, actually, I better just plant two. And then uh, I better be on the safe side. They're old seed. I'll have to buy them again next year. So I'm just going to plant them all. So, in this first container here, I'm going to have some kind of cucumbers from this old seed. Yeah, somebody's going to give me food. I don't know who it's going to be, but somebody's going to grow and give me food and be something that I can add to my garden every year. I don't know who it's going to be, and I can't worry about that right now is another plant where you only need one but obviously I got this in 216 this is again old seed but as we know I'm not deterred by that I'm gonna put this in there and if I get a bunch of spent Malabar spinach here again is a plant I can give away to other people to grow their own food if they should be inclined this it has no diseases. It's free food, no diseases. And it doesn't care if the soil is fertile or not because the roots go deep as trees. These look a little dried out. I have to give myself that. They look a little dried out. Which is not the best. But we're going for it. And this can take partial shade or full sun. This plant is a heat lover. And I'm putting it in that one right there. And I'm just going to tamp these down. And then I will add more soil to them. Because all of these actually can take being planted pr pretty deeply. And they might give me a little bit stronger plant that way too. So, sometimes old seed, the plants can be weak if you don't give them the proper the, you got to give your old seed the best starts, just like older people. They're still good, and they're, they can do a lot of good. But you still got to pamper them a little because they, you know, they worked hard to survive that long. Okay, I added more soil to it, and now I'm going to put a little water. But that water is moving a little faster than I want. Not gonna need a ton of water with the way I do it. The soil's already moist because it's been raining and the soil is in a plastic bag. Now to make this um this is saran wrap. 
And I'm going to create a little greenhouse effect here by taking this saran wrap and putting it on top of this planner very loosely so that if, well, when the plants start to grow, it will um, be just fine. And underneath it, because this is going to have to be in a warm place, it will germinate outside. I got to find a really warm spot for it. So I'm going to put this above the refrigerator. There it is. And um, going up here above the refrigerator, putting it where it can be seen. And that saran wrap will keep that soil wet until some seeds come up. And the refrigerator should keep this. The refrigerator, the top refrigerator, ironically, is very warm, like about 80 degrees oftentimes. And our refrigerator is in the garage, so it's hotter out here than it is in the house. I have no idea why, but if you garden, find your hottest spot next to an appliance, refrigerator tops should be fine for these. Indeed. We want to thank you, Lord God. We want to praise you, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're protecting us and blessing us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And we thank you for this food, Lord, that's been prepared Hallelujah. for our bodies. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, according to the book of Psalms, Lord, that you will satisfy our mouth with good things and renew our youth like, like the, the eagles. eagles. In the name of Jesus. In the name and of Jesus. I'm wearing my mask for precaution. There shall no evil befall us. Neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. In, In Jesus', Jesus name, name we pray. Amen. Amen. Enjoy your meal. Okay.